Okay guys, this is the web design unit and both photography and video production classes will be designing their own web pages which work really well as a digital portfolio to show off your work just for other classes or if you're trying to get into a college. It's really neat to be able to say, hey, go to my website and you can see my work. So on Wix and all web pages, there are four common information systems on every website. A header, a footer, a navigation system, and content. So the header, just like your head, is at the top of the website. Here on Wix, it identifies that you're on Wix.com, Facebook, Twitter, or your web page. You'll know when you go to the page, it'll identify the header. The footer is at the bottom. And footers are most important if you're using your web page to buy or sell products, to market it then you probably have to have some copyright information and another navigation system on the bottom or on the footer of your web page. Back at the top at the header, usually right under the header or along the side we find our navigation system, the buttons to push that take you to the different pages within the website. That's your navigation system. Your pictures and your text is your content, what you want to show off either your photography class pictures or your videos for video class. That's the content of your website. Right. Let's bring up the cards and go through the vocabulary. Slide this a little bit closer to make it easier for you guys to see. When you're designing a website or working with a video, one of the things you have to keep in mind is aspect ratio. So people can see everything that's on your website, on your videos, or on your pictures. High definition televisions are 16 by 9. 16 is the width ratio versus the height ratio. Older monitors like we have here in class, or you might have a monitor at home that's a TV set that's still four by three, width by height, where you have to fit your header, your footer, your navigation system, and your content all on there. Again, follow along with your web design packet as we're going through this, and it's be real easy, just like uh, Mumu's doing over here, watching the web design. Okay? Next up. Wix is what we call WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. There is no code that has to be written with WYSIWYG. It's a template. All you have to do is replace what's on the template with your pictures and your text. Okay? So if you're in a web design class, you will probably learn how to write code. But we don't have to worry about that here in video production and photography class. What you see is what you get. WYSIWYG. Within WYSIWYG, there are cascading style sheets. CSS. Those are common page layouts so that all the pages within your Wix template are laid out for you. You don't have to design each page uniquely. CSS, cascading style sheets, are the common page layouts within your website. What allows one computer to recognize a picture when you're uploading it to another computer, graphic user interface. The computers understand, hey, this is a picture I'm uploading from one computer or one device to another. So a GUI, G-U-I, graphic user interface, allows computers to talk to each other, which makes it real easy for you to upload your pictures and images from your home computer, or you can even do it from your uh, cell phone to your Wix page. How you design your website is its layout, what the tables and layers look like or the layout of your web page design. Rollover is a cool feature. When you move the cursor over a button, it may change color, it may enlarge, it may highlight, or you may hear a sound. When you roll over a certain button you've created on your navigation system, usually what that happens or is used for is for a hyperlink. For example, if you want someone to be able to watch your videos on YouTube from your web page, you have a hyperlink to that video. So you roll over it, 
click on it, and it takes you to another web page. For the videos, it's YouTube. On my website, the study guides, the documents are also hyperlinked. So you can click on those, and it'll pull up the document. I zoomed in a little bit, so hopefully you can read the writing a little bit better. When we talk about our programming languages, again, in video production and photography class, we don't have to write code. We don't have to write the languages, but I think it's important you are at least familiar with the different languages. HTML is hypertext markup language, one of the original computer languages. Now bigger and better, of course, it's XHTML, extensible hypertext markup language. JavaScript is something a lot of us use on our computers. It helps programs talk to each other and interact. You upload Java as a client when you're going to visit websites. It's from the client side. When you're creating a website, you're the server. People are coming to visit your website. Just like you're a server at a restaurant, you're serving people what's on your website. So when you go visit a website, you're the client. When you're building a website, you're the server. On the server side is PHP, which used to stand for personal home page. As a designer and creator, a type of language you use when you're on the server side designing a website. Again, Wix is WYSIWYG, so we don't have to worry about actually writing these actual languages and codes. Flash is something that's great on both sides, client and server side. A lot of times it will tell you you have to download the latest edition of Flash. It is great for working with pictures, animations, and videos. All play easier and easier to watch if you're using Flash. If we look back at my website for a minute, I'll show you guys I've got all kinds of Flash stuff going on. It's way too busy, but I wanted to show you all the cool different things you could do with Flash on your website. You can see there's Flash animation behind my navigation menu and Flash animation along the footer at the bottom. There's flash animation highlighting each of the videos. There's a little panda waving, a little flash animation character. So all of these things you can include on your website, whether it's along the header, along the navigation menu, or along the footer. Just kind of grabs the viewer's eyes when they come to your website. All right, let's finish up our last card. Now, an image map is a handy device if you're creating a map for people to find their way around campus or various pictures within your website. You click on one picture and it's kind of like a map. You can click on other elements of the picture that can show you, for example, a campus map. Or if you were building a map of the United States and you were able to click on North Carolina or one of the other states. That's an image map where it's interactive within the map. Also, you want to be able to interact with the clients that are coming to visit your site. That's found in a web form where they can write information or if you're using it for business, then the web form is how people order things off of your website. So it's interactivity between the client and server. You can also just provide feedback in an email form for what the clients thought of your website when they came to visit. Last up, browsers versus search engines. The different types of browsers, Internet Explorer, a Microsoft product, Safari is from Apple, Chrome is from Google, and Firefox is from Mozilla. Remember, browsers are what allow you to get on the Internet. Once you're on the Internet, then you can search around with a search engine. Google, Yahoo, and Bing are the most popular search engines. When you create your Wix page, your domain name is the letter address, mine, wix.com slash Jim McSorley, Mr. Mac. All right, your IP address is the numeric code that all computers or electronic devices have when they're online. IP address is numbers, domain name is letters.